Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, December 23rd, 2020. Free pick in college football in just a moment. Looking to make it 5-0 and the last five days with our free pick videos. We'll get to that in just a second. First quick note, if you've yet uh, to become a member at DocSports.com and you just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. And it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. All right, uh, coming off a sweep on Wednesday, both premium and here on the free pick report. We'll get to our college football free pick for Wednesday in a moment. 2-0 uh, last night in college baskets. We had a six-star winner uh, on Louisville. We had a three-star winner on the Iowa Hawkeyes, and we cashed again in college football. We've had two bowl plays thus far. We're 2-0 with Appalachian State. Nice blowout win over North Texas on Monday. Came back on Tuesday and had a pretty easy win with Nevada over Tulane. Off to a 2-0 start. My next football play is will be available on Thursday. I'm going to give you a free Wednesday play in just a moment, but my next premium plays in football available on Thursday. We'll have the Bulls through next weekend. We'll have college, excuse me, NFL through the weekend, all available Thursday. And I'll tell you more about what we're going to do uh, with this week's football card on the Wednesday night, Thursday morning video. So be sure to come back and check that out. As far as what's going on for me on a Wednesday, I mentioned we had the sweep in college basketball. Well, for those plays in college basketball now that have been rated six stars and higher, we are five and one, 83% on the season after the six star winner yesterday. I've got a seven star play on Wednesday's college basketball slate. It'll be available on my handicappers homepage at docsports.com. We'll look to extend that season long run to six and one. And in fact, all plays in college basketball since day one, rated five units and higher, 73% against the spread. Overall, in college basketball with my sides since November 26th. My college basketball sides are hitting over 62% against the spread. So we'll look to keep that going on Wednesday. Big seven star play. It is the star of the show for me on a Wednesday's card all sports, but especially in college basketball. I've also got uh, soccer on Wednesday slate, and we're going to dive into the NBA. Uh, passed on Tuesday's opening night of the NBA. We passed both games, but we do have a play on a Wednesday, and that'll be up and available at DocSports.com, also on my Handicappers homepage. So a lot going on. It's been good the last couple of days uh, since we started the new week, and uh, we'll look to keep it going on Wednesday with the premium picks. Now let's make it five straight wins here on the free pick report. And I am looking at the bowl matchup uh, in Montgomery, Alabama. That's the clash between Memphis and Florida Atlantic. And let me get you what the majority of the books have. It's a 7 p.m. Eastern time kickoff, by the way. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the Crampton Bowl. And Memphis sitting about nine, nine in most spots. Couple of nine and a halfs. Nine in the total right around 51, 51 and a half. And we're going to recommend a play on Memphis in this one. Listen, Florida Atlantic, pretty good season. Last couple of games, they just got destroyed defensively. They look worn down on the defensive end. Uh, they gave up a ton of rushing yards. Uh, over uh, 570 rushing yards combined they gave up in their last two games, including over 300 yards rushing uh, to a, a team in Southern Miss that just had a tumultuous season, discombobulated almost from start to finish, yet they were able to run all over that FAU defense. Now, as far as Memphis is concerned, just think they're undervalued a bit here, and you look at what they got at quarterback in his last game, it'll be Brady White. He's been strong all season, 28-9 to touchdown to INT ratio. I do believe this team is going to be able to throw the football and run when they need to again against an FAU defense that was not good down the stretch. So listen, we made this number 12. It is nine. We're going to recommend to play on Memphis minus the points over Florida Atlantic in bowl action on Wednesday evening. All right. And again, don't forget what's going on for me on a Wednesday premium pick seven star play steals the show at docsports.com on my handicappers homepage. And that is, of course, in college basketball. Again, as we we'll look to go to six and one with our elite level plays so far this season in college baskets. Also, again, we do have soccer. We do have NBA all available on a Wednesday, so check it out. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column, and I'll be right back here Wednesday night with Thursday's report. We'll talk to you then.